Detailed vintage lettering is one of the coolest text effects you can make. Originally these kinds of embellished titles were drawn by hand as the cover art for old insurance maps from the likes of the Sanborn Map Company. Painstakingly illustrating artwork like this by hand is a dying art form that would have taken years of training to become a master of penmanship, but we can easily make similar textiles with digital tools. Kittle.com has loads of ready-made templates you can customise in seconds. Browse the range of ornate logos or narrow it down further by searching Sanborn. Any of these templates can be repurposed by altering the wording or even deconstructing the entire layout. But we're going to start from scratch with a blank project to create our own unique layout. Follow the link in the description to head over to kittle.com and create a free account to follow along. Create a new project. I'm using generic dimensions of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Lay out a text element by hitting the T shortcut. You can then choose from a vast library of fonts that are built right in, including loads of perfect vintage style fonts. Kittle have also generated some fonts specifically for this Sanborn map style. Headstock in particular is directly inspired by the original vintage insurance map lettering. Another massive advantage of using Kittle over creating such vintage textiles in other apps like Adobe Illustrator is the great shading effects Kittle has built right in. You can easily add 3D and offset shadows and control the result with the options sliders, which is much easier and faster than tediously creating them manually. The text decorations section is another feature that's way more powerful than the Adobe tools. You can easily add the detailed line patterns that are common on vintage lettering just by configuring the options. There's no need to spend time creating blends and clipping the lines to the outline of the text like you would in Illustrator. Let's move this text off the artboard for a moment while we find some nice ornaments. One useful shortcut to keep in mind is the W key to temporarily hide elements beyond the edge of the artboard. If you've watched any of my Kittle videos before, you'll know there's a huge library of assets built right in. There's even a specific category for Sanborn effects, which contains loads of detailed ornamental embellishments. You can find layouts that you can drop your text into, or compose your own using the individual pieces. This particular item is a classic layout, which is actually similar to my tutorial where I created a similar Sanborn style vintage text effect, but in Adobe Illustrator. Right click on the text and select to front to place it on top of the ornaments. This ready made layout has the two separate areas, so what we're going to do is separate this wording to place the initial in the circle. Remove the first letter for now, then let's manipulate the text to match the rise layout. Conveniently there's a rise transformation option in the text settings. Configure the angle so it matches the layout. You can also fine tune the transformation with the bezier handles. Hold the ALT key and drag the text to make a duplicate, then remove the transformation. Change the text to the initial letter we just deleted. Reposition the letter to fit within the circle, then let's alter its appearance with some more cool text effects. Talking about effects that are tedious to create in Illustrator, this colour cut treatment would take some complicated blend tool work, but in Kittle you can just click a button and configure a few sliders. This text style is ideal for vintage text effects. One extra trick we can add to this letter is to duplicate it, then take off the bezel effects, but leave the lines pattern so it effectively acts as a cool shaded drop shadow. Right click and send this item backwards, so it sits behind the letter, then move it into place so it's slightly offset to the bottom right. Shift and click both items and group them together, so they can be moved as one unit. Add another text headline. Then we'll choose another cool font with more of an old money style look, named Grocer. Under the transformation section, choose Circle to easily create a type on a path effect, which can then be manipulated to follow the outline of the ornate layout. A few more decorational adjustments add some shading effects. The offset setting is really useful for this offset drop shadow effect, which again is a lot more work in other apps. By configuring these text sliders in different ways, you can create a range of textiles. Here a border added to the oblique lines effect gives it a nice subtle appearance, almost like the kind of lettering from a banknote, which fits into the same aesthetic. Even though we've used a ready-made layout already, you can also build upon it with additional elements. Choose some similarly designed ornaments to build a frame for some more text. A quick copy and paste with Command and C and Command and V 
or Control and C and V on Windows, then rotated by 180 degrees creates a simple box, but with the extra flourishes added. Add another text headline, then find a nice cursive font by filtering the style to script. Duplicating that previously created text element is an easy way to add some filler pieces. Simply reset the transformation and angle, then it can be used as a couple of quotation marks. For other decorative text pieces, this bio rhyme font complements the line art style of the ornaments pretty nicely when it's scaled down because of its mono weight design. As well as the ornaments and font libraries, there's also various illustration assets available in Kittel. Pieces like these floral graphics might not look like they would go very well with the rest of this vintage illustration, but the colours of each segment can be changed, so simply swapping out the colours to black and white helps them to blend in nicely. Just placing this graphic in some empty space helps to add some extra detail, while also giving the layout some depth with multiple layers where it overlaps. The thin flourishes section of the ornaments library has even more decorative pieces in this single weight style that seamlessly blend with the rest of the illustration. As a finishing touch search the library for Gentleman to find a suitable vintage style graphic. Once again the slightly sunburnt orange colour as by default can be easily changed to white to help it blend in a little better. One of the handy features of Kittel is the project colours at the bottom of the interface, where you can edit and update all the colours used in your design in one go. The no spoon graphics design would be complete without a nice texture overlay. Don't worry about having to download one from elsewhere though, Kittel has its own library built right in. Find a suitable one from the paper texture category, then tweak the opacity to suit. If you want to edit and use this vintage Sanborn style text layout yourself, Follow the link in the description to the project's file at Kittle, where you can make it your own by altering the wording or completely deconstruct the layout. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.